Now, sitting in front of me, ready to play for you, almost, is the lovely Kelly Oliver. Kelly, how nice of you to drop in again. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So, um, you've been on, have you been on the radio today already? Yes, twice. <laughs> Yeah, what's it's, it, it's what, been a long day, but it's lovely. It's been fun. Yeah, good. Well, it's nice to see you back here again. Yeah. I think this is your third visit, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> it's so nice. I know. We're in a different room now, though, so yeah. I'm just working my way around the rooms here, I hope. Yes. <laughs> good. Do you want to sing for us now? And, I'd love and, to. and then we'll have a bit of a natter and find out what you're doing next. Yes, please. OK. okay. Um, I'll play you a song um, off of my debut album. This is called The Witch of Walken. A man had lost his child, his only son Then he spied the girl who pushed away his hand He's afraid, what if she's to tell? I'll lose my wife as well to the crowd see the girl there she has killed my son she's a witch and she has killed my son
Thank you. Lovely stuff. <laughs> One of your own? Yes. Yeah. What mm -hmm. What's the story behind that? It's based on the witch trials um, in the UK because I, I read um, that in some parts of the world women still get executed for being witches um, in horrible ways. So it made me really interested and, in, you know, I, I knew there was witch trials in the UK. Um, and actually the last woman to be accused of being a witch is from the town right next to mine and actually the town where... Helen is from <laughs> as well. But the song is not based on her. <laughs> but yeah, so this is, um, yeah. This is your agent yes. and, and looker after her, Helen. <laughs> yes, Helen Meissner. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so that gave me the idea. And then I did some research and um, just found all these, all these ways of, you know, the women. Um, people said they confessed, but actually they were confessed while they confessed while they were being tortured. So naturally they confessed because they didn't want to be tortured. So it was really interesting, and it was a lot of fun writing it actually. Yes, um, I think Cromwell used to send round the witch. <laughs> was it witch finder general? Wasn't he the guy who used to go around looking for for witches? Mm -hmm. And and he had a special pin he could prick women with. And uh, oh, and if they bled, they were. Which is all right. If oh no! If they, if didn't, they didn't bleed, bleed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like if you uh, float, you're a witch. Exactly. But yeah. if you sink, you're not. If you not. drown, then you are not a witch. But <laughs> a bit late then. Really interesting history, isn't it? <laughs> Very. Yeah. You know, I've got five, uh, four cats, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> Kelly, so you've been, you've done two, three radio stations today. <laughs> How is your work going? How's your singing, your playing? Yeah, it's going so well. Um, I mean, I finished the, so I released the album, well, Folks Rock Records released my debut album um, called This Land back in October. And that was when I was doing the album tour. So um, it was lovely to kind of visit um, local venues as well as folk clubs, you know, further afield. That was really nice. Um, and now that we're in January, I've just, you know, started back with the gigging and got a lot of gigs planned this month, which is lovely. And especially the, <laughs> the gig on the 12th, supporting Blair. So that will be that will be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. That's my su first um, support slot of this year. It's not a great time to be travelling, is it? Not a great time of the year to be travelling. No, it's actually quite cold. <laughs> but, um, it, I mean, it's. I love it. I love the travelling around and, um, you know, visiting new places and new venues and new audiences is the best thing, I think. And, and obviously all the promotion for it, which is why I'm here. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So Yes, so you're supporting Blair Dunlop mm -hmm. at the gatehouse in Stafford. Yeah. Not this coming Monday, but no, next, next Monday. Next Monday the 12th, yeah. 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 That'll be great. What do you enjoy about taking your music out to places? Um, I think it's, it is the meeting, meeting new people. Um, I like it um, when you, well, I mean, I like the whole thing, but I think it is going into a different venue and um, kind of getting used to the space and, and doing your sound checks and um, kind of preparing for the gig. And then once the audience comes in, you really get a feel from the audience as soon as you go out on stage and you kind of, you can, I, I find that I can never predict how a gig is going to go. And, you know, every time I've had a prediction about, you know, whether a gig is going to go well or badly, it always surprises me. And, and um, yeah, I think it's lovely getting that new um, kind of reaction from the audience and, and, you know, in the folks, you know, the audience are so kind and, and they always, you know, want to come up and chat in the interval, which is so nice and and really makes you feel like they've enjoyed the show and they really, if they have, generally they let you know, which is so nice. That's that's really makes it very, very happy. Do you ever change your set list? Because, you know, you, you, you play one song and you think, mm. oh, that one <laughs> went down well. I'll do something a little bit, you know, I'll, I'll change my mm -hmm. set list slightly. Do you change yeah, it to... sometimes. I mean, I, th I, I generally tend to stick to um, kind of a vague type of set list or a vague type of order. That's depending on the tuning that I'm using. Um, sometimes, you know, I to go from one song to another is easier, whatever. Um, but yeah, actually, that's a good point. Sometimes I do, depending on the venue and the type of audience I think will be there. Sometimes I think, oh, maybe they might prefer this. You know, if it's a folk club, they might prefer a more traditional 
folk song and if it's a you know just a folk type venue then maybe they'll prefer an original song and um you know sometimes you get a feeling from the crowd that they might be a bit more maybe a bit li- livelier so they might want something a bit livelier and and if they're a bit more mellow then you think okay well maybe i can do a softer one so yeah that depends on the audience as well sometimes yeah very interesting do you find it lonely because it's just you and your guitar mm-hmm. playing you haven't anybody to to sort of spark off mm. it's just you isn't it that's really interesting because i was talking to my mum about that um recently actually and um i think when i like because i love watching other people play and you know i've learned a lot of my most of my stagecraft from watching and supporting other people and it is interesting when you see a duo or a band and you see the banter between them and um it's so enjoyable to watch and yeah i don't have that um but then that gives more room to try and connect with the audience i think and you kind of uh, you know a lot of the time i'll you know when you talk to the audience sometimes you get audience that then shout out at you and kind of really engage properly with you and and then so then you're having that same banter you know but just with them and and then they feel even more like you know they're part of it which is which is great um however i every you know when i've collaborated with people um and I've, I've played live with people that has been great because there is a different energy and I do feel like you know it is nice to be able to talk to them and um kind of even like in in the performance just kind of like engage with them um yeah it's all fun really so I lo- I do love the collaboration as well yeah you're just testing the water and finding things mm-hmm. is it going to make you rich oh I hope so <laughs> <laughs> not rich just just rich enough to buy myself some to keep being able to buy these nice strings on my guitar and keep my guitar up, like the upkeep of that you know uh, I just I just I think I'm so lucky to be able to do this and um the idea of being able to visit venues and um play to people and, and the, the fact that there is an audience waiting that is I don't take that for granted I don't take that lightly and I think as long as that continues I'll be more than happy <laughs> Fabulous. Kelly, thanks for taking the time to drop in. No problem. Have a good gig with Blair. Thank at, you. Uh, thanks very much. At the Gatehouse next Monday, not next Monday, Monday coming. Um, Thank you. The 12th. The 12th, <laughs> the 12th yes, yes, got it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, if anybody wanted um, tickets for that, that's on Stafford Gatehouse Theatre.co.uk. And you can also visit my website. Uh, there's links up there, which is kellyoliver.co.uk. Fabulous. Thank you very much.